heading to New York for Lynn and Michael's wedding. I can't wait for the 12th, and uh, I look forward to seeing you guys up there, and I love you both very much. Oh, hey there, Mike and Lynn. I didn't see you there. I wanted to wish you a big congratulations on your upcoming wedding. You know, marriage is like a well-kept lawn. It takes love, compassion, and continual application of a chemical fertilizer of your choosing. Oh boy. Once again, y'all have a good time and good luck. Hey, Joni, are you and Lynn, congratulations on your forthcoming nuptials from the hot and dirty Gainesville. Hey, Mick Joni, just wanted to say congratulations to you and Lynn. Uh, so happy for you guys. Marriage is hard work, but it's one of the most rewarding things that a couple can go through. And I'm just so happy for you guys. Taylor wanted us to say something stupid, but I honestly can't think of anything dumb to say about you. You're just a genuine person, and I'm super happy to uh, be able to call you my friend. Congrats, bud. What's up, Mike and Lynn? Uh, congratulations on your marriage. Uh, I'm stoked for you guys. You're an awesome couple, and I love you very much. Meek Joni, congrats to you and Lynn. Um, I am super lucky to be part of your circle. I just feel honored. Um, I can't wait to celebrate with you guys next time we see you. you Gotta get that dude's trip to golf and surf sometime soon. Um, the tan man specifically requested that I say something dumb, but I don't have any down south apples or any zinni for you. But I do have this glacier lake behind me, so I'm gonna jump in it and do a little mullet shake for you. So. Here goes. All right, so you did it. You did it. Congratulations, mate. Hey, Joan, my lord. Congrats to you and Lynn on the big day. Uh, as Dom says, no matter where you are, whether it's a quarter mile away or halfway across the world, you will always be my family. Uh, excited for you and Lynn and looking forward to a celebratory dine at E Street when you guys are back to Jack's. Enjoy the honeymoon and again, enjoy. You guys are the best. What's up, Meek Journey? It's Steve. Uh, so many good times with you, man, from meeting you when you and Taylor are living together in Jack's Beach and you let me crash in your bed and partying, going down to the Ritz, going up on the roof. Um, yeah, you coming out to my wedding down in the Keys was really good time as well. And um, that one time we were hanging for my birthday in, in New Smyrna and we were talking about Eric Clapton plays the blues. Michael, what's up, man? It's Hacker from 1010XL and 92.5 FM in the city of Jacksonville. I am taking time out of my unbelievably busy schedule. Are you kidding me? Watch what's going on here, man. I mean, we are in the studio. We are getting ready for an award-winning broadcast right now. But I wanted to take time out to congratulate you on taking the vow, man. Getting married, it is a fantastic thing. Congratulations to you. Congratulations to Lynn. I've been happily married for eight years. It is awesome. I'm not sure if you're the best athlete, though, that's going to be part of this marriage. That's what I've heard. So we'll see what happens. But congratulations, brother, uh, from everybody here at 1010XL, including myself, you know, Hacker. And uh, we're rooting for you, man. Hope you have a great day, uh, great honeymoon, all that. And uh, thanks for listening, brother. We'll see you. Michael. Since the day you were born, my life has been fuller, richer, and happier. And I'm just looking forward so much to spending more time with you in the married part of your life. And I'm so happy for both you and Lynn. I love you very much. Hey, Michael. Congratulations on the wedding. Um, you've always been a great big brother to me. So I'm just really proud to see you open up this next chapter of your life. And especially I'm happy to see that you found somebody 
who makes you happy and that you can grow with. And um, just remember that for all those sushi dinners that Lynn doesn't want to go to, I'll always be available. Um, congratulations again, and I love you, man. Hi, Michael and Lynn. I just wanted to say congratulations, and Lynn, welcome to the family. <laughs> I'm so excited to have you as my sister-in-law, and Michael, I love you so much, and don't forget that you'll always be my mamo. This is Nelson Minuto. Um, I think you can tell a lot of a man by who his friends are. And in Mike's case, it's Nelson Minuto, Beast Lando, 2J, T Biggs, Mr. Noose, Bobby Noodolo, Robbie Vishnu, etc. And sometimes he goes by the great one. Um, but I miss having you up here, my lord. Um, you're truly my lord. Um, we've had some crazy and sometimes strange times. Um, but I wish you and Lynn all the best and I'm very happy for you guys. And um, we love you guys. And Have a great wedding. Congratulations. We're very happy for you. Bye. I didn't realize that we were supposed to take a, tell a story. Um, who can forget the time, wasn't it Joe was going to fart on your brother's head, but then pooped? Happy marriage. Yo, Meek, just had a few swamps, and I'm two days late past the deadline recording this video. But you know what? When I reminisce about our friendship over the last couple of years, and you and Lynn, I get emotional. It took me a minute. So congratulations, you've been the best partner. You've called me out for being beat over and over and over again. I do appreciate it. One of the realest people I know and someone that's tried to help me a lot of times, tried to always pick me up, always a positive force. I respect you and Lynn and I love this combo. Let's get it done. And plus let's pound a few more double drops. Percy, Lynn, congrats on getting hitched. Happy porking. Gator tail's on me. Michael, Michael Brazil. Did your friend cook that old drum? I got a call from Bob O'Leary. <clears throat> he said, I need a special wrap for Michael Purcell. And I said, I can do that. I'm from Louisiana. Yeah, and the name's Coach Eddie O. And I want all y'all to know. Oh, stay away from Michael Purcell. He's off the market now. Look at Lynn Saint. She can pole vault how. She gets on the pole and goes up. Now I'm not talking about something on scissor for stuff. I'm talking about a good time. I'm talking about a couple words that happen to rhyme. I'm talking about going to your granny's house and telling her you're gonna come play with me at LSU. I'm talking about telling her, bitch, I'm gonna tame the shrew. No. Yeah, sorry Coach Eddie O got off on a tangent there, but I'm congratulating you on your wedding and some fine appetizers and some dining fare. I look forward to it. Coach Eddie O out.